यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ कैन वी यूज मैट्रिक्स विजुअल to display a calendar kind of a layout means i want to display how can i show data in this format which is basically a calendar format where on the one side i have the week days on another side i have week of the month and then what i would like to have is basically i would like the each date to be displayed and for that date i want to display various kpi now if i change the month here i can go to october wherever i have data it will show the data i can go to the december and so on another thing is i have used a slicer here so if i only want to show net here or i want to show more than these things so i can go ahead and do that so this is what i want to start this actually we need to start fresh from a new file but this new file is not going to be the blank file i'm going to use the basic uh, expect thesis file which i'm having with me and that is the one which i'm going to use it so let me rename this basic abstract thesis file as save as as at calendar and let's begin now first of all to do that display what i need is i need to enhance my date table and let me check that my does my date table have those all those column so let's look at my date table and I, here i have a weekday column that's what i require but it uh, does not have week of the month column uh, which one of the thing i required also uh, weekday sorting need to be corrected because the dddd is not going to sort so let's first correct the weekday and uh, sorting so by creating a new column we create a weekday number so that we can uh, sort it correctly and weekday number is we can have because i want monday to first then i can sort it on one if i want sunday to first then i can make it so let's make monday as first so that uh, weekends goes on the other side and then we can use the function weekday which returns as a day and we give our date and in the date we give argument to which creates a monday week so that's the first thing which we have done now let's go to the data view and see what we are adding here so that we have the visual view of what we are creating so we got these and this already sunday monday is available now what i want is i want the uh, month start so to do the month start what i need basically is basically i need the week of month week number of the month so for that i need a week start date now week start date i don't need basically here uh for um, purpose of you know displaying because there is no need of this so i need you know week of month and in that one i need a week start of the week to be used so first of all what i need is i need to know month so i right now i can't use the month here column here so i need to first of all create a variable which tells me the current months month so i say month which is nothing but the current rows date on which i can use eo month date comma zero so in the current row this is what my month is and let me let me have the another variable now i want to create the first i want to create what is the my first week which week should this month should refer to calculate the week of the month so to do that what we need to do is we need to create another variable which is a, let's say min week now how do i create min week i say min x min x filter and now there is no table here i need a table to use the min x so what i need to do is i need to create a variable first so i need to move out this calendar so this calendar is ending here i'm going to move out this calendar into a variable underscore tab now right now the tab is not there so it's going to give us an error alt enter alt enter i'm going to call a variable where underscore tab is equal to this thing and then i'll say return and the moment i do this you start seeing this things are there now 
there are two commas so it's giving problem so we give only one comma there is no problem now i can use table now this table which i'm planning to use is only having one date column and that's why i used the eo month there now the comparison is very simple i need to again give this eo month because the in the entire table filter the eo month zero means end date of this month with the current value of the row which is zero uh, which is basically coming in this variable so now this variable is making it static the row value uh, the, the same way what earlier could have done this variable is doing for us so when the months are equal in the table the complete table this month is equal to the row month then you give me the week start date now how do i get a week start date i'm going to give a week start date by mentioning the date here so now i need date and to cal calculate simple thing is date minus week day and we need the monday week because we want the monday to be the first date so week day of monday and then plus one that's my week start date and i should let me return this and then we'll calculate the weekday and whenever we use variable in the calculation we need to return something so i, I i'll return underscore min week and let's see what happens there let's commit this change and you see and now let me sort this actu actually sort ascending now the first 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 and then you see 29th is the start of the week for the first fab okay the monday is 29th okay so you can see the monday is here and that's 29th okay so now but i doesn't i'm not interested in this one i need week of the month so to how do we get week of the month so we say okay to get the week of the month we are going to say date diff between the min week the minimum week and instead of date we can say okay take the difference with the week start date now again the week start date is not created yet and even if we create here it's not going to do so we say okay do the date diff between these things and return it in the day format now but that's going to give the week uh, difference in the like 7 0 7 and all those we don't need 0 7 we need 1 2 3 4 so we use quotient and we say divide it by 7 and because remember on the first week the difference is going to be 0 and we are happy with 0 because 0 to 6 is basically 0 for all of us and then uh, so 0 to 6 days is should be 0 for us but that 0 to 6 calculation when we want to use date but when we are using it is week it's already 0 uh, 7 and all those so but in both the cases we can take quotient with 7 and then we can do plus 1 and let's see what does it gives to us so you will see we'll get week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 week 5 max and then again it started week. now we have the setup done let's go to the visualization let's add a new page in the new page let's add a matrix visual in the matrix visual i just want slicers on the top because see definitely this is not going to make any difference if we don't have a month because i don't want to see the calendar of all the years isn't it i want to see only one month so i go here and i put in month here and then i make it as a drop box and I, I can select later on some month and let me make it a little bit bigger. Then what I want, I, I go to this matrix and in this one, on the row, I what I want, I want the week of the month and what I want on the column, I want the, on the column the weekday. And weekday is not sorted because what we have done, we bring, we created a column but we not marked as a sort column. So weekday number is my sort column. And once I do use able to see the correct sorting. Now what I need, I can bring in a major. So I go here and I let me bring in net, margin, gross. Now this is how we don't want the display. So we go to the properties of the matrix and in the properties of matrix, we say switch. If you're on a little bit older version, it may be show prior to July 2020. So we got a display like this. So we are getting net, we are getting margin and all those. Now, 
so we got our majors now this week of month is taking isn't it it's taking too much of space and then second thing i would like to do here is i want to make stepped layout of so let me say stepped layout i want to switch it off now this week of month is taking too much of space so i'm going to do two things first of all i'm only going to call it as wm week of month so it's take lesser space and i'm going to give it as less space as this i might not need total so i can remove the total column here both row and this one okay now i got this and i can make it little bit bigger And once I'm doing with this little bit bigger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say auto width is blank. So now I got this auto width also sorted out. Now the thing which is missing here is I don't have a date. Okay, you can say why don't you go here and put date as a major, isn't it? Doesn't okay, let's put date as a major. Now the moment I put date, let's now let's put a filter also here, October month. Okay. So we got date or we can create a major of date. So that's not a problem. If we don't want this, we can create a major of the date and major might be a little bit better in this case. So let's do because I would like to do the formatting also. Let's create a quickly create a major of the date. So we say major of the date and I'm going to do it with a little bit of difference. I can say date as my major and that is min x or max x whatever i want min x sales related date of date okay so we call it date one let's see we created a major date one and I'm going to ch change the format. So what I'm going to say that format is my format is basically I want uh, the date or I want month first. Let's say M M M comma D D Y Y Y Y. Let's have this format. Let's put this date. Okay. Now what we can do is we can have some color for this date. So we can go here and we can go to column headers. And go to values. Actually we have something here. Specific column. We go to specific column date apply to header is correct apply to subtotal we don't have subtotals apply to totals we don't have values and text color is fine we say background color is something we got that display okay now i want to do a little bit conditional formatting for my margin so i go here again and i go to now i go to the cell elements And I go to the cell elements, I go to the margin percentage, I say background, I say FX, I say field value and let me see do I have a color major for margin. Okay, I don't have a color major for margin. So let me create a color major for margin or I can create a gradient based here. Let's have a gradient based on margin. Let's see does it work for us. Okay, let's not have the same color. It's So let's start with the red and go till darker green. Okay, so we have the kind of coloring and we can add the other major, but we don't want to add the other major. We actually want the field parameter to come in here. So let's bring in now the field parameter. So we have date, which is sorted out. We have major certain majors we have taken, but we would like now the, the this to get, uh, come out now. 
the field parameters to you to be used so very simple we go to the modeling view we go to the new parameters we go to the fields parameter and i'm going to call it as major one and here i bring in my majors my majors are base majors the gross the net the cogs the discount percentage the margin percent let me move margin here okay and let me say add to the this one let's place it here let's make it as a drop box and let's do one thing now go ahead and add this one so we don't need net and margin so we instead of that let's bring in the major one so we go to major one we bring in major one after the date and we remove these things now we got all of them now the conditional formatting still survive if you go here you go to um, cell elements you can still see all of them and you can do the conditional formatting that's the good part of it now i can reduce i can add and i can do all those things now i'm done with this and i can do little bit of renaming here let's say date i want to rename let's say what happens if i need a little bit of space here I need some space after this discount and do, let's not immediately date coming. So what I thought, let's create a major, let, let me create a major, let me call it as filler. Let me create a major which is just a space. I go and put this filler major. after the majors the field formatting okay and you see it's created just a little bit of spacing out here okay so now we have you know this kind of display which is very similar display if you look at here now let's look at december or november okay now there we have used major base conditional formatting so basically we have created a major uh, base conditional formatting for uh, the margin percentage we can also create something like that here and can also use it here that kind of a conditional formatting we have used different kind of conditional formatting here so now you have a display which is basically showing you a calendar and we have used matrix to do that and the display is happening and we are because we have made the fixed one you will see not many things is changing other than the height uh, which is getting changed so so in this manner you can go ahead and try this display out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you